just me and welcome to Castor Cats of the seventh day. We are going to start by asking if anyone here has a birthday in February. Thank you. Can you put your hand up if your birthday is on the 7th of February? Now you share a, your birthday with a very famous Victorian and our assembly is going to be about him. See if you can work out who he is. He is a famous writer and author and lots of his stories have been made into films, television serials and musicals. Any ideas? William Shakespeare? No. Meadow. Lewis Carroll? No. Let's help you out. Here, here he is to tell you about one of his most famous characters from perhaps the most famous Christmas story ever written. Grasping, scraping, clutching old sinner, hard and sharp as flint, secret and self-contained and solitary as a oyster. The cold in him froze old features, nipped its pointed nose, shriveled to sleep within his eyes red. His thin lips blew and spoke out shrewdly in his grating voice. He carried his own low temperature always about him, ice and office and dim thought at one degree of Christmas. No more. Could warm, no wintry weather chill him, no wind that blew was bitterer than he. Bah humbug! What are all you dear children doing smiling? I hate children having fun, I hate fun, and most of all, I hate Christmas. Well, we love Christmas and we think you're a grumpy old man, Just like grown-ups. 
Charles himself knew what it was to be very poor, because when he was ten, his father had to go to prison, because he did not have enough money to pay his bills. Charles had to go and work in a factory until he was twelve to help his family. Charles' father was lucky enough to have a relative who paid the money he did, so that he could come out of prison. Charles was then able to go back to school and get a good education. Please, sir, what's an education? Education means gaining knowledge and understanding the world. It means doing well at school so that you know lots of stuff and get a brilliant job or career. Because of his ed good education, Charles was able to become a journalist and writer, and eventually became famous for his wonderful books. However, he never forgot what it was like to be poor, and he, along with other caring people, helped set up schools for poor children. Charles also said it was not enough that poor children could be taught lessons. He also said that children needed to be trans to be clean, and that the school should provide warm water for them to get washed, and even give them baths. Please, sir. I'm not that keen on baths. <laughs> over the last, well it's not that 
that could be that many weeks. And I know there's lots of other things happening in your class at the moment. You've done brilliantly. Well done. Lots of information shared with us. And things I imagine some of us didn't even know. But well done. Let's give you another round of applause. In fact, stand up. Well done. 
And Jemima, Somerset under 12. Oh, league win winners, brilliant, fabulous, well done you. Gary from Netball Club, fantastic. <laughs> Ready for next week. Go well.